What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the movie Blue Beetle. I know it's late. You know, we was on strike. You know what I'm saying? Another DC offering from the DC universe, Blue Beetle. They kind of, this movie kind of went under the radar, came out at the wrong time. It didn't do that well at the box office, but don't let that sway you from watching the movie, man. When you hear about movies not doing well at the box office, that is not a determining factor on how good the movie may or may not be. You know what I'm saying? There's some movies out here that are subpar to be making gobs of money, and there's some real gems out here that didn't do well at all. The Shawshank Redemption took an L at the box office. It didn't do that well at the box office. It's regarded as one of the best films ever. So, you know what I'm saying? Be mindful of that. So when you hear the press like, man, it's taking a hell. They losing money. It could still be a good movie. So Blue Beetle is the story revolving around Jamie Reyes, who is a family man. You know what I'm saying? He just graduated from, you know, college pre-law. And he's the, you know, Family's proud of him. He's got a sister, uh, Milagro. I love that name, by the way. Milagro, that means miracle in Spanish. I love that name. I'm, if I have more kids, I'm biting that. I'm stealing that. He got his family, he got his sister, his grandmother, his dad, his mom, beautiful family, but they on hard times financially, you know what I'm saying? They can't make the payments on the house, they're losing the, the family business, so it's just like, yo, he's he's pressed to really find something that he can do so he can help out the family. Like, you know, how can I make money? How can we do this? He's on the hustle. Meanwhile, on the backside of that, there's an ancient artifact called the, the Scarab that this company called Cord Industries is trying to get their hands on. It's this epic, like scarab that can give the wearer all of these different abilities, armor, the, the weapon capabilities are endless with this thing. And so, you know, Cord, which is led by Susan Sarandon, you know, she's on the quest to retrieve this. While he's trying to get his job together, you know what I'm saying? He's working with his sister at this resort. He sees uh, Susan Sarandon's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Susan Sarandon was rude to one of the employees. And he tries to, you know, be, you know, defend to her. He gets fired. But the girl he tried to defend, who works for Cord, was like, thank you, you know what I'm saying? Come by come by the offices, I'll try to get you a job with security or whatever. So he ends up there. Meanwhile, she's trying to retrieve the scarab because her father was working on something that involved that and she she doesn't really rock with Susan Sarandon and what they got going. So she steals the scarab and on the way out, you know, security's coming in. She hands it to, she hands it to Reyes and Reyes is like, what do you want me to do? I want you to guard this with your life. Don't open it, don't even look at it. Just please guard it with your life and get the hell out of here, okay? Simple enough, he doesn't do that. You know he's gonna look. You know he's gonna look. It's in a hamburger box. Whole family, man. Beautiful family, man. Got the, got the, got the sister. Got the grandmother. Got the dad. Got the mom. Got the uncle, played by George Lopez, who is hilarious in this movie. George Lopez in this movie is a great character addition, man. He's a good time, and I really like the Reyes family. Like th that, to me, is the best part of the movie. Like you know, you really care about this family right here. They open it up, they start playing with it, and then once Jamie gets a hold of the scarab, that's when it fuses with him. All hell breaks loose in the house, man. It's like, it goes inside of him. It's like, yo, it's inside of him now. And the family's like, yo, how to get inside? It didn't go in his mouth. Way to go. And we saw the, we saw the beetle moving around and kind of went behind him. Now it's inside of me. That's booty hole. That's booty hole. That's the only way that the beetle could have got up in there, man. And so once it once it merged with him and the scarab kind of chooses this person. So now it infuses with him. Now he's got the armor, he's got these abilities. So now think of think of the Iron Man suit, except you're not putting it on like you know how Tony Stark does it. The suit is within you. So now it comes around you, it envelops you in, and it has a technology that you can talk to. And the and the suit is like, yo, do you want me to go into defense mode or the do you want me to take over? So it can take over your body and go into whooping ass, doing all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like the movie Upgrade. If you remember Upgrade, it was like, do you want me to take over? And so so now he's got all these abilities. Life is crazy. But Cord is like, yo, we want that scarab and we know who got it. So you know what's going to ensue. And one of the people that works for Susan Sarandon, he's a guy that's part like Cyborg. He's essentially like a cyborg. So he has the similar technology a little bit. It's not the same, but it's... So you get that same dynamic in the origin film where he's kind of fighting someone of equal ability that we get time and time again with the origin story. So that's essentially what it is. On the takeaway tip, Blue Beetle looks dope. 
Like the costume, the way he looks, dope. The actor playing Jamie Reyes, you may remember from Cobra Kai. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to say your name, and I don't wanna mess it up. Sholo Mariduena. I hope I said it correctly. If not, don't butcher me up. Dope name, by the way. He does a great job, man. The kid is likable. And so I'm liking him, I'm liking his family. George Lopez is absolutely just a gem in this joint. That's the key to this movie. Like the action is the action. The action is gonna do what it's gonna do. But the key is that family unit and the characters. I was like, you know what? I like this family. I wanna see more of this family. I care about this family. And that's what you want, man. But forget all that. Y'all wanna know the smooth jazz review of Blue Beetle. Well, here it is. Oh yeah. I'm giving Blue Beetle three and a half saxophones out of five. It was a good time, man. I wanna see more. I wanna see more of Jamie Reyes in there, man. Merge him in with the rest of the DC pieces too, man. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And make sure you keep the uncle in there, man, George Lopez. I need to see more of him too with the mullet and everything and the, and the twisty tie on the beard. I'm all for it. I liked it, man. And Susan Sarandon, man, you know, Susan Sarandon. I had a crush on Susan Sarandon for a long time, man. There's something about her, man. Something about it. And shout out to Susan Sarandon, man. Her agency dropped her because she, you know, she was, you know, talking about Palestine and stuff like that. She's big humanitarian, man. Big time. So you know what it is, man. That's troubling, man. All right, peeps, that's my review of Blue Beetle. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Since it's no longer in theaters, you can check it out on Max, and it might be on another streaming platform. So you got nothing to lose. You ain't even got to go to the theater. So check it out. Let me know what you thought of Blue Beetle in the comment section below. Also, did you like the characters as much as I did, the family unit? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.